from Auburn High School to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I am DeMarcus Ware, and this is home of the Auburn Tigers. Leave no doubt. We got to get pressure on the quarterback. Either got to seat at the table, you're on the menu, baby. Hey! Give a pregame speech. Right now, I'm going to just tell you that I love every single one of you. We had a great fall camp. Now it's time to go to work. Right? The road to Tuscaloosa starts today. Right? I love every one of you. Play your tails off, no matter what. Right? No matter what. Relentless energy, relentless effort, relentless attitude. Let's go, guys! Let's go! One, two, three! Me! Somebody take over! Somebody! for a game week, okay, which is not quite as long as a spring training practice, but it's it's still a it's still a good a good day. Okay, so today will be a, a, lo a long day, tomorrow will be not so long and then Wednesday will be a, some form of a walkthrough. Okay. But we are going after school on Wednesday. Freaking Friday, you weren't here. So you have no idea what we're doing. Get it back right here. 
here, D. Let's go. Oh, Kyle. Go, Ashton. Zach Ashton. Ashton, get there. Got a baby. 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 Can we please get the trick right? Go out. Watch the trail. Back up. <laughs> hey, man, y'all scoot down. Hey, get off the field. Hey, man, we're in the fourth of the night. Hey, man, we're in the fourth of the night. Hey, 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 that one, that one, one, Hey, come here, yo. Daryl, Daryl, Jackson, you okay? Come Hey, raise your Dallas, raise your Dallas. And a one yard. That is the end of the first quarter. We score Auburn High 14. Hey guys, hold on right here. Come here. Oh, 
I don't know. Alex, you got you. I'll take one going to go okay. Keep busy, guys. Get down there. Right there. So we're gonna lock all that. Yeah. If they give us Trey, we'll go corner safety and nickel. Like all all that. I write them up first. Uh, Trey, we'll go corner safety. Huh? They want 83. What number was it? Oh, so it's tackle over. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's tackle over. Tackle over. Tackle over. Tackle over. It's trying to hide it. Oh, to the tackle? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. You can't. Call it to the three line. Yeah, I did that. They're saying there's an eligible tackle. There is. 83. He says 83 is on my side. Really cool. He said a lot of tight ends. He put the feedback and then he kicked it forward. He said the tackle over there is number 83. I promise he's eligible. I can lock him in the safety goes over to the trips. If it's covered up, you can't. He went back. He went back. He went back. He went Fourth down. Snap count. 80 yo. 80 yo. Get on. Come on, dog. Come on. Hey, Good boy, big quick. Run. No shuffle. 124. You Inside. We're gonna go the other way now. All right, we're gonna go the other way, so we'll move the bag. All right, we're going downhill angle right here. Guys, what are we getting tight to? Ties are tight. It's tight as the offensive lineman right here, right? We're scraping, getting tight. Eyes inside, find the ball right here. Ready, go. Shovel, 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 boom, get tight. Eyes inside, ready, go. I like it, man. Get tight. Eyes inside, good. Ready, go. Shovel, shovel, boom, get tight. Eyes inside, ready, go. Good, perfect. Ready, go. Eyes inside, good. Ready, go. We need to put him on the list, guys. Ready, go. Get tight. Eyes inside. Good. Ready? Go. Boom. Boom. Get tight. Eyes inside. Ready? Go. We're going to do it again, Coach. Boom. You got to show. We're going to do it again. Go to the other one. we always try to work on. All right, two things in this drill. Number one, your most important hand is your inside hand. All right, if I'm throwing a punch, I'm throwing it with my inside hand. All right, so I'm coming here, I'm punching with my inside hand, and the second thing I'm working on is my, my base. All right, some people, all right, some great players that have been playing a long time, and, and then a, a lot of others too, when they get here, they'll try to get all wide in their base, all right? 
And uh, we don't want to do that. Well, wherever your base starts, that's where we want our base to stop. All right, so watch these guys. I say that, I hope they do it right. All they're gonna do, they're gonna get your left hand stance here, your right hand stance here. You're gonna step, gather, and you're gonna punch with your inside hand. Uh, and I want the punch with the inside hand to be something I can hear. And then when it's over, I want your base to be the way your base started. I don't want your base to be wider. I don't want your base to be narrower. I don't want you to be one foot in front of the other. I want you in a solid base. Here we go. All right. And go. Good. Here we go next. Go. Good. And go. Good. Go. Good. Get out the foot ball. Short chopper, short chopper, wide base, wide base, wide base. Let's focus on it. Go. Cool, all the cool kids buy lightsabers. Raise your hand if you got a lightsaber fight. Charlie, you got a wide band. Nobody else? Go! 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 Go!
Let me tell y'all when we would run this, Demir, it's third, it's, we're, we're getting, we're getting hammered, we're getting, we're getting gassed, like people are, they're, they're just, you know, getting yards on us, I can't even think right now, they're getting yards on us, we got to get pressure on the quarterback. You thought it was the ocean, it's just a boat, 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 boat. Having the 
time of your life. Oh, watch out. Oh, man. Hey. Hey, go upstairs and get my uh, whistle off my desk. I feel like a goofball. Make sure you get my good side, which is every side. Every side's my good side. Go on back, ready to go. Get them to kick out, walk and kick out. Big knees. Somebody get Kick out, ready to go. Kick them up, kick them up. There he is. I'm just getting them loose, guys. Something y'all play, I promise you. If we all bump it and go attack it, it's maybe five of y'all. You know what I mean? That's all it was. All right, rock, step, and run. Let's, let's move it. Right here, rock, step, and run one more time. Don't be lazy. Ready, go. Boom, boom, stick. All right, good. Ready. Ready, go. Stick. Get out of there. Good. Change the race and quick. Be an athlete, man. All right, here we go. Ready, go. Stick. Good. Ready, go. Boom, boom, stick. Get out. Good. Ready, go. All right, there you go. I heard you get first. Go. Right, I am. Oh, come about. It's good. Next guy, next guy. Ready? Go. If you have not been, come on the bounce. Now, you got to beat that guy's block. Give me a dip and reel. Give me a club swim. Then come to balance on the quarterback, okay? All right, here we go. Ready? Say go. Throw. Boom. Beat him. Come and troll. Next guy. We don't negotiate with those guys, man. Get off of them. Ready? So go. Oh, come now come to bow. Square back up though, right? Where's the contact point when we tackle? It's not our face. One of y'all had your face buried in the dummy like this. It's a leg shoulder contact. Shade that dude to the left. All right, give me leg shoulder contact. Shade to the left. Leg shoulder contact. Come up and run through. All right, ready? Go. Run. Jog it back. Do it again. Caleb. Come on. Give me some action. As much as you can right here. Explode. Ready? Go. Come it up. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Do it again. Jack it back. Let's go. Woo. We got some. Look at that lock there. Yeah. Well, it is nowhere as wet as it was when we started. I am. I'll make, I'll make, I'll make, uh, Town bad because I'm better looking town. Right here. See, look over there at the camera town. Yeah, he is. See, definitely look. better looking. There he is. There he yeah, is. Yeah, right there. there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I had to go. You got to say something. What do you got? Legatron, what do you need to say? Auburn High School has the best special teams unit in the country. Yeah. What's to say? Yes. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, what up, What's up, Clayton? You know. How you doing, bud? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, well, he, he drew some pass interference. I some guys were holding him, you know. He said, you tell him. He said, either he makes the play or I'm going to come there and hold him. He said, he don't want me holding. <laughs> You already know how it's gonna go. Them boys gonna we coming. We coming to play. You say it is almost game right here, right here, right here, this here, right here. All right. No yards, no nothing. Behind these, get them up, and get loose right here. Get them up, and get loose. And that's our balls, G fur. Perfect. 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 Get them up and get loose, man. Get them up and get loose. Uh, there you go. Pay attention. Tuck that ball. When we get our hands on balls now, let's tuck them. Is in traffic. 
Fall on it now. We just want it. Fall on it. Oh, there you go. Good, good, good. Get them up. Get them up. Get good and loose right here. We'll do all our warm up stretches. We'll do some 45s. We'll do some tackling. All right, and then we'll come together and go defense team takeoff like we always do pre game. All right. Oh. Oh, Lord have mercy. What kind of throw was that, Isaiah? Golly. I don't know what that was. Mason, you know? Oh, oh yeah, that was beautiful right there. Don't run through their drill. We'll jog it over. We'll come back. Come all the way back right here. All right. Come all the way back. First group, we're going to go stance and start right here. All right, first group, we're going to go stance and start. We're just going to explode through me. All right, great stance right here. Back flap, eyes up, ready. So go, just roll it out, spread through me. No false steps right here, all right? Roll it out, ready, go. Roll it out, spread through me, good, ready. Back flat, eyes up, right, ready. So go, step in the direction we're going. Don't false step, ready, go. Yeah, okay. like the, you're talking about like this, the styrofoam one. Yeah, 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 all, all of them. You should know how all of them work. One lines up on the ball, you stretch the other one out. All the way, and then don't move it until it passes. And <laughs> don't move it until it passes. So go, push, here it is DJ, go get it, beautiful. So go, push three, retrace, boom, next guy, call you go, yes. Good teamwork, go, push, retrace, retrace. Claw that ball and we catch it. Next, say go, be passed, now come on. Now boom, kind of bounce. Good, that's it right there, that's great, pop out, that's it. All right, working draw right there, ready. Say go, boom, draw, 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 come to bounce, come to bounce, good. Come to bounce on the cue. Be great tacklers today, man, it's gonna be fun, ready. So go, boom, sprint back, come to balance, come to balance, come to balance, good. Now we get through with this, oh, last group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball, Jack. Oh, uh. wait to fight through the distraction. I got Isaac right here. Boom, ball, Isaac. Go get it. Good, good. Go up high point it. Take that thing out of the air. Take no prisoners, leave no doubt. Take no prisoners, leave no doubt. Ball clear. Good, good, good. Set. Ah. Set. Ah. Set. Ah. Good, good, good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Set. Ah. Set. Ah. Set. Ah. Good, good, get that head around. Run, drive out of it, Cliff. Drive out of it, Cliff. Set. Ah. Set. Ah. Set. Ah. Good, good. Don't raise up, John Cade. Don't raise up. Last group, last group, last group. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. Ball, Davis. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Relentless energy. Relentless effort. Relentless attitude. Ball, ball, Isaac. Boom, there we go. Go, go, go. Let's ball out today, man. Read your keys, know your assignment, communicate. Ah, there we go. Go, go, go. Hold up, real quick. Hurry up, hurry up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, usually this is time where we give a pregame speech. Right now, I'm gonna just tell you that I love every single one of you. We had a great fall camp. Now it's time to go to work, right? The road to Tuscaloosa starts today, right? I love every one of you. Play your tails off, no matter what, right? No matter what. Go. Hold up. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. Hey, hey, make it a good one, all right? Hey, today is all about evaluation. Everything you do, way to get better. Like you said, road to Tuscaloosa. All right, hey, you either got a seat at the table, you're on the menu, baby. Hey. Start strong, finish stronger, all right? Start strong, finish stronger. Start strong, finish stronger. Start strong, finish stronger. Strong. Strong. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. First group out, first group out, first group out. Trey, Cheetah, where you at? Cheetah, where you at? Right here. Oh, you got him? No, no, I was going to, no, if you need right. I was going to tell him to go with the A group that next series. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. We're used to talking on the back end. Talk on the back end. There you go. Boom, dry. There we go, there we go. Let him catch. Good, there we go, there we go, there we go. Good, good. So it'll be Jack and Trey next. Jack and Trey next. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, Trey, I, uh, love you, man. Love you, Trey, dude. come here. Love you, dude. love you, Caleb. Let's work. Love you, Caleb Pitts. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Relentless effort, relentless attitude, relentless effort. You, uh, you got him, Coach E? Uh, first, uh, who, who, who did you go for? Boom, uh, there we go. Boom, tag, good, 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 good. Find your fit, finish it, finish it. Here we go, here we go. Uh, you can go, you can go, uh, he can go the next rep on defense if you want, because he's going to offense after that. Oh, 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 oh,
Davis. There we go. Jack, Jack Mills on. Jack Mills on. Jack Mills on. Oh. Punch team, punch team, punch team. That's hot. Hey, Bird. Hey. on the line. Punch team. Punch team. Come on. 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 Ready, ready. Mmm. What they say? That's money, dude. That's money, dude. Case Whaley. Case Whaley. Case Whaley. How you doing, big dog? You doing good, Pritchard? How you doing? We're gonna have to get you a new jersey, man. Running down, coach. I'm gonna move out of the way. I'm gonna move out of the way. We, we don't kill. TAT, baby. TAT, Coach Smith. TAT, Coach Smith. Watch out, Furry. They're running. They're running. Uh. They're running, running, Dan. Cover, cover. Uh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. Everybody down there. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Who's breaking it down? I got it. Uh, you got it, Deuce? You get it, you get it, man. You get it, man. Give me that load, Deuce. You're supposed to do. Okay. Y'all go. All right, gentlemen. We're going to look. Y'all can do your, if you want to. Hold on just a sec. Okay. Hold on, Towns. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all being. Yes, sir. Do it. Yes, sir. Hey, just like a regular game, they'll blow you ready. Okay. Beautiful. Got it, baby. Yes, sir. Up. Up. Good. Good. Yeah. A, you're eight yards deep in the end zone. What do you want? Yeah. My favorite saying. That's how we get down. What is? Look, you either gotta seat at the table. Yeah. Are you on the menu? Yes, sir. You pick a choose. Fix it. That's Chinese Chinese proverb. Proverb. Big, big Chinese proverb. Big Chinese proverb. All right. Yeah. Greatness, baby. That's what we do. See, look, everybody else talk about straps. <laughs> we give you car seats. We send babies home to their mama. Hey, be all fits. Be all fits down here. Be all fits. Be all fits. Hold on the field. You're holding on the field. Boom, oh, fit it tight. Good. Hey, 101. 101. Hey, hey, go gold cougar, gold cougar, gold cougar, gold cougar. Middle, middle. Good. Okay. Where's uh, where's Dave? Davis on there? Okay, okay. I'm gonna get Davis off right here. Hey, Bert, Bert, help me get Davis off on this one. It's gonna be Cheetah and Jack. Cheetah and Jack. Oh, this move to change. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the scrimmage. Yeah, I'm just going situational. It's just all situational. Yeah, I'm just rotating them off. Hey, Davis, Davis, Davis. Pump block. Watch for the fake. DJ, same way. Should be a fair catch. Yeah, let him kick it. Good, Ty. Good. Yes, sir. Good job. Interception right there. Interception. Interception. Let's go offense. Let's go offense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, right, go up for two, go up for two. Go up for two. Go up for two. Hey. All right. Hand burn. Hand burn. Hey, Trey, if you catch this one, just run it all the way to the 20, all right? Be off. 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 Be
Good job. Right, good, Trey. I'm looking for the dog. Number the dog. You feel me? Yo, catch the shit, guys. There we go. Last chance to go This is the last chance to hit that. Let's go, guys. There we go. One, two, three. Me. So we had a great day, you know. We're out here, first thing we did a little team script. Now we're out here scrimmaging, yeah. back up scrimmaging. We're having fun, man. We're just having fun. A whole lot of fun. Yeah, you know, yesterday hit Cone Ice had us sugared up. You know. Ready for the first game, one week away, baby. Go Tigers. Let's go. We're out here ready to kick some butt, you know? Okay. How you feeling, Coach? Never better. Yes, sir. How you feeling? We're feeling good, man. Yes, sir. How you feeling, Coach Parnell? No, we're in here. Yes, sir. Are oh, we feeling good? <laughs>
Give us a day daily bread. bread. We give us our trespasses. Give us our trespasses. Give us our trespasses. Start strong! Start strong! Start strong! Let's go then. Hey, DB's on me. DB's on three. One, two, three. DB's. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go.
Remove all doubt right now. From your mind. Whatever your doubt, remove it right now. Okay? If you need help with that, I can remove it. Alright? Believe in yourself. Believe in that guy beside you. You know that he cares about you more than he cares about himself. Okay? Believe in your coaches. You've got the best coaching staff in this nation. Okay? We're going to put you in. We're going to do our best to put you in a position to be successful. Okay? Doubt's the enemy. Get rid of it. There's no reason to doubt. There's nobody that can make me believe offensively that they're going to be tougher than what we face every week. There's nobody. There's nobody that will ever make me believe that. Promise you. Okay? So have fun. Play free. Let's go. Greatness just don't happen. It's earned by what you put in every single day that you go to work. Every single day that you come in there, you work out, you, you go out there, you know, in 105 degree heat and bust it, that you're earning. You're earning. Now's your opportunity just to show it off. You get to go out these doors, step in between those lines and compete against somebody else who thinks that they've done the same thing. They haven't done it at our level. You understand? You go out there and you play for the A. Blue collar mentality, baby. Blue collar mentality. We work for everything we get. We ain't asking nobody to give us nothing. We're gonna go take it. This is our game. Go out there and make plays. The ball's in the air. If we're on the offense or the defensive side, it's all. If they got the ball and there's a running back, there be, better be 11 people. Wherever that ball is, there better be 11 people flying to that ball. Like I say, it should sound like a box of firecrackers. Pop, 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 pop! Every single play. You understand? Offensively, we need to reset the line of scrimmage. You understand? Don't do anything to hurt your team. Be smart. Don't let your emotions get the best of it. This game's played with two things. It's played with this and this. The team that's got more of this and plays with this is going to win. All right? Do what your coach to do. Be a great, great representative of this school your family, this community, you know, you should wear that jersey with pride. Play for the name that's on the front of the jersey. You understand? Play for the name that's on the front of the jersey. I love every single one of you. You've had a great summer. You've worked your butt off to get to where we're at right now. Now go out and let's get these dozens. 14 in a row. 14 in a row. One at a time. Be great tonight. You understand? That ball snap, they ain't, ain't nobody on that other side can block you, Caleb. Nobody. Nobody. Deuce. Keys. Crawford. King. Destroy things up there. Just destroy it. Let White, Ty, Witcher, the secondary all clean it up. You understand? Yeah, exactly. Captains. Captains, go. Let them, let them clean it up. All right? Offensively, right down their throat. Right down their throat. And a DB in the state that can guard you right in. And a DB in the state that can guard any of our receivers. Not one. Give Griff. Cody. There. I go on and on. They cannot guard you. The ball's in there, we go get it. You understand? On both sides. All right? Let's go play for the A. All right?
What y'all call the rap? What y'all think? Yeah, that's your Now we gotta play a little bit better. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Yeah. For the A on three. One, two, three. Four, Let's go.
too, man. Over on the road by 25, do for you, do for you guys. Well, it's just winning this game. And, you know, I think we we put a couple up late. You know, that was that 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 uh, sort of extended that lead. But it was a tight game the whole time, back and forth, back and forth. You know, Hoover's got a great football team. Wade is an unbelievable coach. You know, he's one he's one of the best in the state. And you know that that dude, he, he's he's won a lot of football games and he played a lot of young guys. Now I looked up there on the start and I had a lot of sophomores and juniors playing. So great, great, great guy. Great, you know, great. Great program, and anytime you can get a win, it's a good Let's get each other. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Hats off, y'all guys. Played your guts out. Came out. Jackson Mill. Huge play right after the half. Where's up? Where's Pound? Pound, unbelievable job. Running back. Made big plays. Receivers made plays. Jackson, Kilgore, Coo. Hey, look, the thing is, you know, people talk about, people talk about all these guys with four and five stars and all these guys. And you know what we got? We got a great football team. Yeah. We are a team. Yeah. We are a team of great young men who play the game the way it's supposed to be played. We got to continue to do that, continue to get better every single day at practice. Start reading plays next week. We're going to enjoy this one. Today and tomorrow. Oh, hey, love y'all. Hey, get better on me, get better on three, one, two, three. Get better! Man, my prince, what are you talking about?
Thank you. Alright, look your right, alright? Three zone B, three zone three, one, two, three. Woo! Let's go, let's go, baby. Press up three. Offensive line, number 73, Aiden Platt. Offensive line, number 77, Case Wade. Omar Mazda. Clean game, fast and physical. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, man, let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, y'all, boys, all y'all sees, I need y'all ever all day. This is our last first game in a dunk. Come on now. We need a win. Blow these boys out. We shouldn't be playing in fourth quarter. Hey, let's go all night, all night. Hey, what's the tail on me? What's the tail on three? One, two, three. What's the tail? Presentation in just a minute, but, uh, Listen, fast and physical. Fast and physical. Make sure you ain't got no jewelry or nothing like that on. Make sure your knee pads cover your knees. I do not want to see anything that looks irregular out there. Everybody looks the same, okay? Fast and physical is how we play this game. That's the Auburn way. Whistle to whistle. Snap, excuse me, snap to whistle. Snap to whistle every single play. No plays off. Snap to whistle. If you can't go snap to whistle, we got to get somebody in there that can. The team that wins games is the team that's more physical. Be the more physical team. Be the more physical team. Make sure that you're doing things the right way. All right, I'm going to let Coach Hall introduce this, the Hall of Famer. All right? <laughs> go ahead, Coach. Hey, y'all quiet. Y'all quiet. This is the March Ware. Y'all probably heard of him. Probably one of the best to ever play the game in the big leagues, all right? From all from the A to the Hall of Fame. Now, he been sitting in the same locker room y'all sat in, bro. Played on the same field. All right? So y'all just give him a warm welcome. Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, I, I mean, I come back here and I see so many crazy changes around here. But one thing that I do see that has stayed the same is the A. Everybody in here has taken up the A and don't made the A to what it was. I mean, back when I was playing, we didn't have records like y'all have right now. But guess what, y'all winning championships now. And one thing I want to tell you guys is this. To get to where you need to be, the only thing you got to do is accept some two things that's free, and that's attitude and effort. That's one thing that I, myself, can control. You can control is your attitude and your effort. No matter what situation that you go through, your attitude and your effort is not going to change. What happens outside of this room is what's going to change. All right? And so I want to tell you guys this right here. I started exactly where you guys have started right now. When people told me you weren't big enough, you weren't strong enough, and I put them pants on every single day. And I hit, and I hit, and I hit. And that's what each one of us do every single day. So when y'all leave up out of here, and when y'all put them pads on, you got the names on the back of your jersey, you got that number on your chest. We represent the A. We represent the A. <laughs> but let me tell you guys what. The attitude and y'all effort are what's going to get y'all through this season. If the coach is going to coach, they're going to do what y'all need to do. Circumstances are going to change. You're going to lose and win football games. But if your attitude and your effort stay the same, y'all going to win football games no matter what. All right? I don't even need a hand clap after this. This is one thing that I wanted to do when I came back home. I want to bring y'all out. I want to bring them dogs out. I see that look in y'all eyes. Y'all already done won one game. This game ain't nothing. The next game ain't nothing. But I want to bring my dogs out. So I was thinking about, how can I bring my dogs out? So when I go out here and they give me the Marcus work day and all that, I represent y'all. So when I bring them tigers out, this is what I'm going to say. Who the A? What I want for you to say, we the A. When I say, who the A? I want y'all to say, we the A. Who the A? We the A. Who the A? We the A. Who the A? We the A. I tell y'all what the next thing I'm going to say, are y'all ready? I 
I want you to say, huh? Are y'all ready? Huh? Are y'all ready? Huh? Are y'all ready? Huh? So when I say, let's get ready to welcome those Auburn Tigers, I'm gonna say, who the hey? We the hey! Who the hey? We the hey! Who the hey? We the hey! Are y'all ready? Huh? Are y'all ready? Huh? Let's bring them Auburn Tigers out. Yo!
snap, the kick is up, and that kick is good. Enterprise comes to Auburn and steals one from the Auburn High School Tigers here at Duck Sanford Stadium. Absolutely steals one. Yep. Sure did. They, they played a tough, tough, gritty game, and uh, they made the plays defensively when they had to. Tigers make too many mistakes, yep. and uh, Enterprise is able to capitalize on it. And Auburn will have to learn from this, and they'll have to learn from it quickly as Auburn goes on the road to Dothan in a week. We'll be back for the postgame show after this. You're listening to the Auburn High School Sports Network presented by the Orthopedic Clinic. Broadway will have an empty set. Two receivers to the near side along with two tight ends, solo receiver to the top. Tigers show blitz. Broadway in the gun, has it. Drop back, wants an out route. Picked off! It's picked off! It's at the 40, 35, 30. Jace Williams on the intercepts and 20. He's going to get dragged down to about the 10-yard line. Tigers defense needed a big start, and they got it. It's a pick all the way down to the 10. Jace Williams on the interception. Tigers take over. Ian Nation in the gun. He's going to play action, try to get outside, puts his foot in the ground, and he's driving for the goal line. They're going to mark him short of the line to gain, and Auburn High School comes up half a yard short. Tigers get a pick. They go to the 10-yard line. They end up tripping over their own feet on the first play of the game, and they come up a yard short, and that's where Dothan will take over. Ian has it, and it's going to be an outside zone to Webb. Webb makes one guy miss, now puts his foot in the ground, running hard, and he's getting close to the goal line, and it's still driving. Is he in? He's in. He ends up in the end zone. They're going to put their arms up and call it six for Cheetah. Nine yards out the first time he touches the ball. Cheetah Webb goes the distance. The Tigers lead 6 nothing behind a nine-yard touchdown run. Peterson has it on the out on the off tackle play. He'll plunge into the end zone from a yard out for the touchdown. And it is now 7-6, to six, an 80-yard drive all on the ground for the Wolves. Heard a lot about Trey Marcus. And when I asked, hey, what about Trey Marcus? They're like, who? And they, oh, Cheetah. Yeah, well, I see why his name is Cheetah. Omar up the middle, gashes the linebackers, breaks the tackle. He's into the open field at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Give him six. From 52 yards out, the sophomore runs to Paydirt. 13-7, Tigers lead with 5.04 left to go here in the second quarter. A great job there by the Auburn High School offensive line right up the middle, and Omar out runs the linebackers and the secondary from 52 out for the touchdown. Broadway. Has it, play action, drops back, and pressure. Deuce White comes through with a sack back at the 40-yard line. Big number zero, his third sack of the, of the year, and it's a big loss on third down. Now bringing up third down, that was a big loss on second down. Loss of 10 on that one. Third down and 25 coming. For the Wolves. Empty set here where there is a tight end attached right at the middle. Auburn points him out. Broadway in the gun. Has it, drops back. Tigers bring some pressure, wanting the goal ball to the outside. And there's going to be a pass interference as Pete Davis trips however it's not a first down it is third down and 10 coming up after the penalty that was just a drop back throw a go ball it's going to be a 15 yard penalty but it will be third down and 10 not an automatic first down what that does do though is create a get half and get half here for an offense who very much likes a a uh a, a you know, need to get five as opposed to need to get 25. Third down and 10 coming. Empty set once again. Tigers had a little bit of pressure, but then Jalen Davis just slipped and tackled the receiver on the outside. Broadway in the gun. Claps of hands, drops back. Tigers bring five. Deuce White, sack once again. 
It might have been a it might have been a quarterback draw, but it's going to be a loss of about five on the play. Deuce White once again breaks through. Under a minute left to go here in the third quarter. 45 seconds and counting. Broadway in the gun in an empty set. Got to rely on the down four to get your pressure. Tigers and off coverage across the board. Five on the line of scrimmage. Broadway has it, drops back. Auburn brings a stunt. They got pressure again. Deuce White comes free, and they got him down. Back to the 40-yard line, a loss of 10, and the Tigers will take over first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. Burns in the gun. He's got his Peterson handoff to Alexander up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run makes it 14 to 13. Dothan showing that they're going to go for two in a water bucket look right here. Their kicker is on the field. 17 seconds left to go. I have no idea how many timeouts either team has. Dothan will kick for. They'll go for the field goal right now. That ball will be marked at the 28-yard line. This is a 38-yard field goal ball at the right hash. 17 seconds left to go here in the game. A 38-yard field goal for Dothan right here for the lead with 17 seconds left. The snap, the kick is on its way. It's going to be blocked. It's no good. It's no good. The Tigers get a hand on it with 13 seconds left. The Tigers have life. Nation will have it. We'll drive back. He's throwing it, looking for a go ball. Looking for his receiver. A lot of contact. There's a flag with two seconds left. There's a flag with two seconds left. The problem is it's 15 yards from the 31-yard line. It's going to put it at the 46-yard line with 30 with, with two seconds left. That's not going to be enough. If Auburn would have caught that ball and been able to call a timeout, then, yes, Auburn probably was in. They were definitely in range for a field goal. But... That's not going to be deep enough for Auburn, but maybe you can throw another deep ball and for Webb and see what happens. Towns has a big leg. He doesn't have this big of a leg. Crawford claps it, has it, and drops back, steps up. Throws it for Nation. Incomplete. And that'll do it. We'll go to overtime here in Dothan, Alabama. 14-14 our score. Tigers and Wolves played... For four quarters and decided nothing. We got more football, free football coming your way. Tigers scored first to take it 7 0. Lee Dothan tied it. Auburn then scored before half to make it 14 7. And then Dothan tied it up in the fourth quarter. Dothan had a field goal opportunity at the end uh, with uh, with 17 seconds left. They, couldn't, they didn't want to risk getting closer because they didn't have any more timeouts. And that field goal got tipped. Peterson has it. He was trying to get to the left. Looking for some help. Cuts it upfield. He has the touchdown. Tigers overrun it. The pursuit doesn't get there from the inside. And Peterson puts his foot in the ground and scores. Mapson next to Allen. Allen lowers his head. Is he in? Yes, he is. Touchdown. What's the call? Is it two or no? Is it is it is it kick or go? That's the question here. Is it kick or go? It's kick. Kick's on his way. Kick is up, and that kick is good. Trying to go outside, and Cheetah breaks a tackle into the end zone for the touchdown. Now you go for one if you're Auburn, and you, you look at your defense and say, hey, buddy, give me a stop. Cheetah from seven out for the touchdown. He has 29 yards and two touchdowns now. Kick is up, and that kick is good. 28-21 defense with an opportunity to get a stop. And Auburn can sprint out of Dothan with a win. Peterson, inside give to Alexander. Alexander into the end zone. Again, the counter look for the touchdown. And here comes the two-point conversion. We all, I think everybody in the stadium had an idea this is what it was going to come down to. Here it is. Two-point for the ball game. You get a stop, you run home with a win. You can't. It's a two-plus-hour two bus drive with an 0-2 feeling in your stomach. Broadway in the gun for 
Dothan. And now Dothan will switch the formation, something we haven't seen them do all year, or all night, rather. First time. Saved it for the two-pointer. Peterson will have it, and he'll he'll fake it, and he'll run it, and he stopped. It's no good. It's no good. Tigers win. Tigers win. Tigers win. They tried the inside handoff once again, going off the right tackle. The Tigers were able to sniff it out, and the Auburn Tigers get the goal line stand. They return the favor, and Auburn walks it off with a 28-27 to victory on the road at Dothan. Holy cow. I never understand why you would do all that and then come to a Friday night game and play chance to play fun, right? I don't understand that. Right? So I want to get, I want to play all of my defense. I want guys that are named eating up front, destroying the line of scrimmage, getting in the backfield. Uh, when we send pressure, we're going to send pressure. All right, getting after the name quarterback, all right, making that guy run for his life. Always have a guy spying on him so they got nothing. We talked all week long about we gave up way too many rushing yards. We get to come out here now and correct that, man. It's fewer brushing yards than we can give them. And, and just having fun, man. I want to see guys out here that are just running around, hitting, tackling, a bunch of negative plays, big sixes. I've been thinking about it all week, man. Right us, you eat the pregame meal, you do all that crap. But we here for one reason. I hope y'all know the reason why we came here. Why did we come here?
trying to get guys work. I told you, we'll take, you know, eight, nine, ten, ten, one point win. That's all we need. Come in the second half of play. Hey, you still got a lot of work to do, though. A lot of work to do. Okay? You got to get better Sunday. If you were uh, uh, on that JV, on that JV squad, I'll see you on Monday. Okay? Everybody got that. Coaches, y'all got anything? I got the little bites. And I got these Takis, bruh, and some Gatorade, bruh. Let's go, bruh. It's like that, son. You can't even give me no camera time, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. Excuse me, miss. I saw you from across the room. Sophomore. Sophomore. Alright, thanks, come here. What I gotta say? Hey, come on. Hey, I'm still there. 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 I
Super Bowl. Situations getting after the dang quarterback. 
They're 65% pass, they're 90% pass on third down. All right, win first and second down by smashing them, being the most physical team, get them in the third down, we can beat them and boss them, get after the quarterback all night long. All right, got to get off the field on third down. I told y'all uh, yesterday and today, all right, we want less than 50 yards rushing, less than 100 yards less, less than 100 yards passing, a bunch of turnovers, a bunch of sacks, a bunch of picks, some defensive scores. All right, that's fun. And it starts with us on defense. Y'all know I tell you every week it starts with what? Effort and attitude. Don't let them think for a second, Deuce, why don't let them think for a second that they play as hard as you do. All right, play with a nasty, violent, aggressive, physical, mean attitude. When you hit them, make them feel it. Don't dive at their legs. That gives them a chance to go score. Stay on your feet and run through them. Club up through their ribcage. Keep your eyes up. Head here, like Coach Hall talks about all the time. All right, be nasty. I promise you, if you play this game and you don't take a single playoff millet, all right, and you play with a nasty, violent, aggressive attitude, all right, flip that switch, it'll be a fun night. All right, and I, I try to tell you all every week, I don't know how you can practice all week long and then get here on Friday night and not be loose and go play your tail off. If you got any nervousness, if you got any worry, if there's anything you've been thinking about, let me do all that. Let Coach Hall and our coaching staff do that. Y'all loosen up and go play. And play your tail off and have fun. And the way you have fun on defense is you beat the piss out of somebody. Like, don't give them an inch, all right, from the very first play. Start beating the piss out of them and do it for four quarters. And it'll be fun. We'll have a great night. You know what's the most special thing about coaches? Is you get to do this every, every you get to do this every Friday night during football season. You get to make build relationships with the coaches you coach with, the guys that you get to coach. I walk out there and I see I, I see guys standing out there that I coached 17 years ago, standing on our side. That I coached that drove two two and a half hours to watch you play. Because they see themselves where you are now 15 years ago. So right now, there's a guy out there I coached 17 years ago who's going to live through you tonight. And think about the times that he was playing in your shoes right now. You know, that's what's special about coaching. Getting to see those things. Getting to be around y'all all the time. Every single day. And you know, I may get mad at you, I may yell at you, I may scream at you, but I love every single one of you. I want you to be the best you can be. And that's why I yell and scream at you and get up. All right? This is what I want you to do now. Go out, make memories that's going to last you a lifetime tonight. I can still remember my homecoming game. I can still remember to this day. I can remember playing in my homecoming game my senior year. Most amazing, one of the greatest games I've ever played. My head coach, my head coach in high school is standing out there right now on our sideline. You know what he told me? I said, when we, before we started the year, we was playing a team that we had never beat. And I said, Coach, why are we playing them for homecoming? You know what he told me? You better beat them or your damn homecoming's going to be missed. <laughs> you know what we did? We beat seven to three. Seven to three. One of the one of the best best games I've ever had. I had 28 Packers in that game because he picked up their signals and we knew who to get in the ball. That's why. Because <laughs> he was that good. Because he was that good of a coach. But I didn't care. It didn't matter to me. I still had those 28 Packers with defense player of the week. Every single play. Play like it's your last. Every play. Every single snap. Play like it's your last. Because you never know. I'm telling you guys, love this game. Love the guys you're playing with. Love the coaches that's coaching. All right? Let's go out and have a blast. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Number five, Elijah Gross, and number eight, Bryson McGrew.
To number 81, Griffin McLean. Stop made by 20. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right here starts this week, this next week. All right, we got the number one team in 5A. We got, uh, and then we got two top five teams in 7A coming up in the next three games. All right, so let's let's go go get ready to work. You got it? Yes, sir. All right, we got to get better every single day. Every single day. Saw some great stuff out here tonight. You know, enjoy the homecoming win. Enjoy it with, with your family and stuff. Uh, make sure you say hey to them going out. Let's don't stay out here too long though. We get back over to school. Uh, listen, when we get back over to school, they got they got a meal for y'all. So when y'all get over there, uh, I think Trey's daddy, uh, Trey Marks' daddy, cooks y'all some uh, cook, cook y'all some stuff over there. So grab it. Make sure hey, make sure y'all say thank you, Miss Webb. Make sure y'all appreciate. Say thank you to all the people that are over there feeding you. Okay. All right. Hey, great job, great win, coaches. Y'all got anything? Alright, break it down. Let's, let's go. Break it down right here. Let's go, baby. Hey, get better on me. Get better off me. One, two, three.
big win tonight, guys. Keep going. Make sure you go for like a.
Um, I would say gutsy. Um, we had some things that didn't go our way uh, during the game, um, but he was able to. When it was time to play the best, he played the best. When it was time to, when it was time to really come back, and when we were down two scores with seven minutes left, um, you got to be the best player on the field, and I think he was. Um, I would just say that he showed a lot of heart, and that when it when it came down to it, he made plays when plays had to be made, and uh, that kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier about uh, I want ball players, I don't want robots. I think he was a ball player last night. We got a really good running back room, uh, selfless. Uh, I think our guys are really good friends on and off the field. Uh, they're each other's biggest cheerleaders when somebody else is in. Uh, that's just like last night, you know, when the game was at hand. And, you know, we get a – speaking of on selfless, we got a guy like Mikael Ammons, who's a senior this year. You know, he, he when it, it was his time to come in, you know, guys that play in front of him like – Tyus Flakes and Omar Mapson were, you know, just as excited to see him get in and get carries as if those two guys were in there. So, uh, family, uh, unselfish. You know, I think our guys are very mature in what they do, and they they went out. You know, we kind of started off a little slow on defense, uh, got gashed a little bit early, but they, they responded and stepped up to the call that we gave them at halftime. Yeah, and I, I just want to highlight some uh, some great players on that, you know, linebacker position that you coach so well. Um, Wyatt Trexler coming into tonight's game, or last night's game, excuse me, he was leading the team in tackles on the season with 35. And I just want to ask, how much has a player like Wyatt improved and developed from where he was a year ago? I mean, he's in incredibly improved. You know, I talked to the guys last year, Clark and uh, Coleman told me, you know, that he was going to be a really big player for us. And I, I believe them. You know, he's very smart. Uh, he watches a ton of film. He's just a student of the game, but also just plays his tail off. You know, he, he played out of position um, these, these past two games with Ty being out. You know, he's playing at Mike. And I think he stepped up really well. You know, kind of got caught with his eyes in the wrong place last night a little bit. But he, he responded, and, and he's always going to give us 100% effort. I um, mean, he's a, just all over the film room, and he's just works really hard in the, in the weight room as well. So he, he's a guy that I never have to worry about. He's always going to be, you know, doing what he's supposed to do. So, you know, he's all over the field, obviously, making all those tackles, and, and we're really, really blessed to have Wyatt as part of our position. Take the money I see, clothes that I buy, ice that I wear, clothes that I try, close your eyes, picture me rolling, sixes, money 
folded chicken. Honey's have swollen the riches. Nas get in ya. Most critically acclaimed Pulitzer Prize winner. Best storyteller, thug narrator. My style's greater. Model data. Big threat to a lot of you haters. Commentators ringside try watching my paper. Almost a decade. Quite impressive. Most of the best is in the S's for this rap stuff that I stand for. Expanding more to the big screen. Bill Gates dreams. But it seems you'd rather see me in jail with state dreams. Want me off the scene fast, but good things last. Like your favorite MC, still making some mean cast. First rapper to bring a platinum black back to the projects. But you still want to hate? Be my guest, I suggest. Money is power. I got millions of thugs on salary. Do it now. You can hate me now. Or I'm stop. But I'll always hate you. But I won't stop now. Can't stop. Cause I can't stop now. You now. can hate me. You can hate me now. Do it I hate now. you too. But I won't stop now. Come on. Come on, cause I can't stop now. Come on, you can hate me now. Do it now. You can hate me now. Do it now. I told you, do it now. Let's go. You wanna hate me, then hate me. What can I do but keep getting money? Funny, I was just like you. I had to hustle hard, never give up until I made it. Now y'all saying that's a clever. Nothing to play with, hate on me I blew but I'm the same OG People warn me, when you on top there's envy Took my people out uh, I would say that we're, we're, we're trusting each other a lot more Each week, you know, the, the trust is there, the camaraderie is there um, But also the standard that Coach Goolsby in, uh, establishes as a defensive coordinator it, it never changes, we always have high expectations for our guys And we never let up um, And it, So I always say it starts at the top um, with Coach Goolsby He does a great job with you know, having us coaches establish the standard um, and the coaches staff, we do a great job of keeping that standard high for the players. And then the players, they hold each other accountable um, and they and they practice and they work to that standard consistently. So it's a, it's a all around effort from everybody. And we preach attitude and effort every single day. Um, and when those guys really buy into it, you see special things happen. Between paper and hate, friends and snakes, growing old or early grade, hell or the pearly gates. I was destined to come, predicted, blame God, he blew breath in my lungs. Second to none, wicked turn wild to widows. Do sad pillows, the desolate one. Took a little time to claim my spot. Chairman of the board until this game stopped. And I side with the Lord. Ride for the cause, my driving like my doors. Plotting, I'm sure to catch me with the to my jaws. Tried sticking me up, but I flipped on these ducks. Instead of me, ambulances were picking them up. People fear what they don't understand. Hate what they can't conquer. Guess it's just the fear of man. Became a monster, on top of the world. Never falling, I'm as real as they come. From day one, forever falling. Come on. Taking the bow, sugar no pain, boyfriend keeping, dropping the bag, three, get him, he got a tag.
Browns over. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And that's the end of the first half, your score. Here with Coach Etheridge, uh, Coach, uh, what did you uh, see in the first half, offensively and defensively, from your team? Uh, we we didn't play real good the first half. Yeah. We got to play better the second half. You know, it just can't can't you know can't give the balls those balls over the top. We got to make sure that we we uh, control the football. We don't let their their offense have it most of the, the first half. Uh, we did get one good drive. We got it down here. We got it in the end zone. So we need to sustain drives and just you know just plug along. Uh, what, what was your message to the guys at halftime uh, down down 16-7? We're just, you know, we got to relax and play. You know, we're making unfundamental mistakes, letting them get over the top of us, you know, uh, little things, little things. You know, we got to come up, we got to tackle, you know. we got to got to work on punching the ball out and do the little things right. Uh, what are you looking for in the second half uh, from your team? Just a lot more intensity and then we'll play a little more relaxed. All right, thanks, Thank Coach. You. Thank you. Uh, what did you see from your special teams in that first half? Um, actually, I think they did a pretty um, real good job on that um, first half. We just got to play with more energy, um, especially on defense. Yeah. I think most of our guys play on um, special teams from defense, but they got to pick the energy up when they get out there and play defense. Um, you know, that one punt uh, that was a very short punt, uh, what, what did you see from uh, – or what did you tell him uh, after after he uh, missed that punt? He just got to keep his head up. You know, we talk about it all the time. We do, we do five purpose after practice. Um, just got to mentally block it and go out there and just play the second half. Uh, what are you expecting from your special teams uh, second half? Uh, playing with more intensity, um, playing with that hair on fire kind of mentality, and, and also just getting down to, you know, trying to hit somebody. That's that's the biggest thing. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yes, sir. Go talk. Come on. Get on there. I was going to try and catch it, but. Yeah, back there behind me. Why'd you, why'd you miss it, man? It wasn't in the field goal. You're supposed to catch that something. <laughs>
because they have they got two touchdowns and uh so many crazy changes around here. But one thing that I do see that has stayed the same is the A. Everybody in here has taken up the A and not made the A to what it was. I mean, back when I was playing, we didn't have records like y'all have right now. And one thing I want to tell you guys is this. To get to where you need to be, the only thing you got to do is accept some two things that's free, and that's attitude and effort. That's one thing that I, myself, can control, you can control, is your attitude and your effort. No matter what situation that you go through, your attitude and your effort is not going to change. What happens outside of this room is what's going to change. All right? And so I want to tell you guys this right here. I started exactly where you guys 
have started right now. When people told me you weren't big enough, you weren't strong enough, and I put them pads on every single day, and I hid, and I hid, and I hid. And that's what each one of us do every single day. So when y'all leave up out of here, and when y'all put them pads on, you got the names on the back of your jersey, you got that number on your chest. We represent the A. We represent the A. <laughs> but let me tell you guys what. The attitude on y'all effort or what's going to get y'all through this season. If the coach is going to coach. They're going to do what y'all need to do. Circumstances are going to change. You're going to lose and win football games. But if your attitude and your effort stay the same, y'all going to win football games no matter what. Alright. I'm gonna say who the hey? We the hey! Who the hey? We the hey! Who the hey? We the hey! Are y'all ready? Who? Are y'all ready? Who? Let's bring them all the tigers out.
feel like a sneeze. Please put them trick squeeze them, get cream. Never let them get in between of what we started. Look, but I'm lying hearted. They love me when I was stuck and they hate it. When I departed, I go and get it regardless. Draw like I'm an artist, no crawling, we're straight to walking. Foreigns in my garages are foreign. Menage, sucking and swallowing anything for a dollar. They tell me, get them, I got em. I did it without an album. I did it for Mariah. Leaf. Then I bought that new Ferrari, hey, the rest in peace, hey, the rest in peace, rest in peace to the parking lot, Phantom so big, can't even fit in the parking spot, you ain't talking about my, then what you talking about, gangsta moving silent, and I don't talk a lot, I don't say a word, I don't say a word, was on my ground and now I got what I deserve, hold on, wait a minute, y'all thought I was finished, when I bought that ass tomorrow, y'all thought it was winning, flexing on these, I'm like Papa on his finish, double M, yeah, that's my team, Rose, hey, the captain, I'm lieutenant, I'm the type of can of men, cast and grind like I'm broke, that Lambo, my new, she don't ride like my ghost, I'm riding around my city with my head on my toes, cause these want me dead, and I gotta make it back home, cause my mama need that real money, my son needs some milk, these try to take my life, they f*** around, get killed, you f*** around, you f*** around, you f*** around, around, get smoked, cause these Philly f*** I pull with me, don't f*** around, no joke, no, all I know is murder. When it come to me, I got young that's rolling. I got throwing bees. I didn't did the DOA. I didn't did the KODs. Every time I'm in that, I get to throwing 30 G's. But now I'm hanging out that drop head. I'm riding down no collar. They let me earn back home. That young be wild. We young, we mob it. That bad man and we're robbing. Miss two door made back with my seat on reclining. I'm like real wood up, real wood up. If you ain't about that murder game, then shut up. If you did me. When you touch down in my hood, know that your life ain't good. Kept me down in MIA, and then he came on wood. With that put my life in my feet, like that little engine I could. Boy, I slide down in your block, back on 12 o'clock. And they be throwing deuces on the same. Dick 
Blame God in blue, breath in my lungs. Second to none. Twicked, turn wild to widows. Through satin pillows, the desolate one. Took a little time to claim my spot. Chairman of the board until this game stops. And I sign with the Lord. Robbing the cause while driving the first quarter. Like my doors. Plotting, I'm sure to catch me with it. My jaws tried sticking me up. But I flipped on his stuff instead of me. Avalanches were picking them up. People fear what they don't understand. Hate what they can't conquer. Guess it's just a fear of man. Became a monster. The top of the world. Never falling. I'm as real as they come. From day one, forever falling. Come on. Never I stop, y'all. Stop, can't stop, can't stop. <laughs>
special teams tonight. And your kick and punt returner tonight, number two, Tremarcus Webb. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the 50 yard line for a special presentation. This past April, the Auburn High School varsity women's tennis team, led by head coach Hollis Davis, won the 7A state championship, bringing home the Blue Map Trophy for the second time in three years. Years, Auburn has won two state championships and produced 15 individual state champions. Presenting the team with their 2023 championship wins is athletic director Dan Norton. Team members include two-time state champion and 2023 number one Boston. Win on me, win on three, one, two, three, win! Central Phoenix City, enjoy the game and go Tigers! Hey, you captain? Yeah. Hey, why? Fuck y'all, boy. Here are your captains for tonight's game. First, for the visiting Red Devils, number eight, Geo Sims. Number 68, Caleb Tarver. Number 88, Isaiah Fada. And number one, Jaquan Sparks. And for your Tigers, five, Wyatt Trexler. Number one, Henry Allen. And number 33, Towns Magoo. You guys got the 48 yard line face that way, face, face central. You guys got the 48 yard line face the other way. All right.
Red Devils, number 15, Ethan Paul.
third quarter. And they went back down and scored, but you didn't. Receiver 
is number 81, Griffin McLean. Your running back, number zero, Tyler Flakes. And at the other running back position, number 20. faculty and family members, 100 of the nation's premier high school football players have been selected by ESPN Recruiting to participate in the 2024 Under Armour Next All-America Game. Over its 15-year history, the Under Armour Next All-America Game has produced many of the football's best collegiate and professional players. Since the inaugural game in 2008, when the perennial pro bowlers Julio Jones and A.J. Green competed, the game has served... Sounds for you, congratulations on achieving your dream of becoming an Under Armour Next All-American. The Under Armour Next All-America game will premiere on Wednesday, January 3rd at Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Florida. You can watch this game on ESPN as the nation's best foot, step foot.
Dear seniors. Dear senior. Dear seniors. Dear seniors. Dear seniors. Dear seniors. I just want to let y'all know how blessed me and all the other coaches are to have had the opportunity to coach each and every one of you guys. I would like to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to you all for your outstanding leadership on our school campus. I am so proud of your accomplishments and all the work you have put in. Thank you for all your hard work and willingness to learn. You have completed your goals, achieved your aspirations, and cemented your legacy. After 20 years of teaching, I've had semesters where my job felt like, well, a job. From the moment you joined us as nervous freshmen to now as accomplished seniors, your growth and dedication have been nothing short of inspiring. Each year I think of how special the seniors are and how much I will miss what each one of you bring to our team. Through our very best moments, our highest of highs, to our lowest, we became one, bonded, fought, loved. As educators, we've all experienced disinterested classes made up of disinterested students. But with you guys, things have been different. This year, I can honestly say there are no words. It's my third year with most of you guys, my first year with others, and there are a few I've known for most of your lives. It is not the end. It will never be the end. For this is just the beginning. You've been a personal delight. I've truly enjoyed working with you all, and I'm honestly glad that you took a chance on my advertising design class. Clayton and I are grateful for the time spent teaching you all about athletic training and sports medicine. From the first day that you came to Marching Band uh, and through this season, you have shown yourself to be amazing people and great musicians. Your unwavering dedication and commitment to our school community have not gone unnoticed. You have had a profound impact on our campus and your influence has rippled far beyond the football field. But I want all of you to know that you have left your mark on my life as a coach. Every single one of you, day after day, you've proven to be smart, hardworking, a batch of young adults with great individual senses of humor. I ask that as you go forward in life, you do one thing for this old man, and that is be the light. Take our accolades, our achievements, our lessons we learned, the adversaries we faced. Look into the abyss of a future full of the unknown. Smile and dive right in. Your leadership has encouraged others to step up and contribute to our community in meaningful ways. And for that, I am so grateful. Be the person that others see something special in. Always be ready to help. Never pass up a chance to make a difference in someone else's life. We wish you the best in the next chapter after high school. Congratulations. I enjoy seeing your end results, the fruit of your labors, but I've also really enjoyed spending time with you in the process. You've made me laugh more times than I can count. I love you guys, and I look forward to the rest of this ride with you, all of you, Mr. Cox. And I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Uh, best wishes, Miss Marshall. Once again, I thank you for your unwavering dedication and leadership on our campus. I am so very proud of all that you have achieved and have yet to achieve this season. I look forward to witnessing the bright futures that undoubtedly lie ahead for each of you. Be relentless, be persistent, be unabated by those who doubt you. We have proved them wrong once, it's time to do it again. As you wear those uniforms one last time, remember the magic you've created here. You are all destined for great things, and me and all of your coaches wish you nothing but the best. I love you guys, and go Tigers. Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Could it be a faded rose from days gone by? And did I hear you say, he was meeting you here today To take you to his mansion in the sky She's 41 and her daddy still calls her baby And all the folks round Brownsville say she's crazy Cause she walks downtown with a suitcase in her hand Looking for a 
mysterious dark haired man. What in God's over there got a right to tap me? I don't care. I don't care if they're the best tackling form ever done. They still don't have a right to tap you. You don't have to go down. The difference between good and great offense is when they get out, they're gone. Be gone tonight. They ain't got no right to cover you, receivers. No matter how good a position they're in. So get open and go score. But defensively, we talked about it a while ago. We want zero on that score. It's on there now. We want it to stay on there. All right, the way you do that is you get lined up. You get your eyes in the right spot. Dip and rip, get around blockers, linebackers. Uh, first of all, we better dominate them up front. Y'all hear me, defense line? We're going to ride y'all. Dominate them up front. Have fun. Guys, play for each other now. Seniors, could be your last game at the dock. Could possibly be your last game here. Okay? Because if, if we don't get one of the top two seeds, which is possible, you know, it's possible we could have to go road warrior and win every game on the road. All right? And I'm fine with that too. Play your guts out. Play your guts out every single play. Every single play, play your guts out. For the guy that's sitting beside you. For the guy that's lined up beside you out there. Love each other, leave it all on the field now. You understand? Yes, sir. Leave it all on the field. Younger guys play for these seniors. Seniors play for each other. Let's go. <laughs>
Magoo's 42-yard kick is up and good. You know, Tyler, possibly your last game at Doug Sanford Stadium. How do you think you performed? I think uh, we as a team performed well. You know, we put up 48 points, which is huge, especially in a region game. Uh, my performance, they got pretty good. Had one punt and went well, but uh, just glad we got the win. Yeah. How has this senior class affected you? Well, it's been a brotherhood. We've all, uh, over the summer, really gotten closer with Christ, which is a big deal uh, in life. You know, giving your life to Christ is one of the best things you can do. And we've all been of strong brotherhood and keeping each other accountable and working together, which ultimately helps us on the football field. Thanks, Tyler. All right, I'm here with Towns Magoo, kicker for Auburn Tigers. And you know, Towns, you had a you had a great game tonight. How do you uh, how do you think you did, especially um, last game possibly at Duck Sanford Stadium? Yeah, uh, growing up here playing soccer um, and then playing football last season, this season, this game definitely meant a lot, you know, playing at this home turf. Um, but man, even missing that, you know, that 60 yarder, uh, making it twice and then missing it a third time, you know, when they didn't call a timeout. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can't be too upset when we get a result like this. Uh, definitely down in the moment and a little frustrated, but 
Uh, man, our team played so good. Defense shut them out. Offense, you know, scoring touchdowns like crazy. And when they weren't, we could get three points on a field goal. So uh, just super exciting. Yeah, and my last question is, how has this senior class impacted you? Yeah, I mean, let me come in last year uh, as a new guy, first year. Um, they really just were very welcoming. Uh, I'm growing up with everybody uh, since I moved here in elementary school, and uh, really this this whole football team is so talented, especially the senior class. Uh, there's so many guys overlooked when it comes to college recruiting, and uh, people will find out in the playoffs. Uh, we got such a talented senior class, such great guys, um, and we we try to lead this team so well, and I think we're doing a great job of it. Thanks, Terrence. Yeah, thank you. I'm here with running back Omar Mapson. Omar, what a game uh, you had here tonight. Um, how has this senior class, uh, 2024 class, impacted you as a player? Yeah, they impacted me a lot. Uh, Griffin McLean, uh, Tyler Flakes, Jalen Foster, and Ray Allen. Um, it's just great. It's just great playing with them. And my brothers, um, they just created new. They just, See ya! <laughs> they just created new, new relations and just built friendships. How has your offensive coordinator, Coach Wagon, impacted you as a player? Oh, he's impacted me a lot. Uh, losing that center game, the next week he came in and said he wanted 50 on the board. So, um, hey, we 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 gave him we gave we gave him 48, close to 50, close enough. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that this oh, week. Yeah. But uh, thanks for interviewing, Omar. I'm Coach E. Big win here, 48 to zero. Uh, you guys have Smith Station next week. What are you guys going to work on in practice this upcoming week to get ready for that game? Uh. We got a lot to work on, you know. Uh, got a couple silly penalties, you know. We got to make sure we, we, you know, eliminate those things. Uh, did a good job of taking care of the ball this this week. You know, did a good job of, you know, defensively played great. You know, uh, held them out right there. You know, uh, offensively you got on blocks, stayed on blocks, ran the ball well, had two backs over 100 yards. You know, threw the ball well. So, you know, really pleased offensively and defensively. But there's still a lot of little things that we can polish up and, and just get better and you know get ready for the playoffs. Yeah, the week after. Speaking of the playoffs, the week after Smith Station, you guys are gonna be in the playoffs. And uh, what are you guys gonna work on to? Uh, you know, be a contender in this uh, playoffs that we yeah, have. We just gotta, we just gotta continue to get better every single week. You know, first we gotta beat Smith Station. Yeah, I gotta, <laughs> so gotta worry about gotta worry one about game Smith at a time. Station first, and then, then we'll worry about uh, after that. We'll worry about playoffs. We'll see where we fall as far as you know uh, what place we are in the region, and see if we gotta go on the road or if we get to play at home. You know, I don't. I'm not, I'm not sure right now. It looks like it's a three-way tie for second place. So, yeah. you know, we can fall second, third, fourth. And, yeah. And we, and we don't – it doesn't matter. We, yeah. We're just glad to be in it, glad to still be playing, still be playing. You know, we got some station next week, and that's mm -hmm. what we got to focus on right now. Yeah. Well, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.
touchdown, Auburn.
like the score, bro. I really don't like the score, bro. I get to spend a whole nother week with y'all. All right. We'll come in Sunday, same as usual. We're going to you know, go over the film. Make sure you watch a little film right, you know, this weekend. Uh, where's Coach? Where's Coach Goose? Go, Coach Goose, you going to say anything? Coach, great job. Great job, defense. Y'all battered on. Absolutely. All night long. I told myself before the game, if we can hold them to 17, 20 points, we can win the ball game. Y'all held them to 17 points, so great job. All right. Anything that went wrong during the game, we're going to flush it. We're going to drag it right for Central next week, man. So, bless you, Bill. Hey, sir. hey, great job. Hey, final eight, elite eight now. There's only eight teams left in seven eight. You one of them, baby. You one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, we ain't happy till we're the last one standing. Sir. You got it? Yes, sir. The last one standing. Let's get in here. Get it, man. Hey, February, I'll be February on three. One, two, three. He already took out running to get the fuck Hey, 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 hey,
senior group came in with me when I, when I first got here. You came in. You've done an amazing job over the last three years. You've worked tremendously hard to get where you're at. And, uh, I'm super proud of you. One of these coaches is proud of you. Uh, you know, I hope we have some guys. I know we've got some guys signed on the, on, uh, the 7th of February. It's great. The thing is, regardless if, if you're going to play a football or you're just going on the line, do everything to the fullest. Don't halfway do anything. That's one of the, one of them waggies. How you do anything, how you do it. Make, make sure that you give everything you've got in everything you do. Because really, honestly, if you do it the right way, you know, some people ain't blessed with the athletic ability the others are. So it may be a lot harder. But I'm telling you, you know, from, from a dad who, who had a kid who got to get all the academic stuff, it, it helps. It helps mom and dad out big time. I don't have to pay for a dime of school, and it's not because my Kevin was a great athlete. It's because he got in the classroom and had 31 on his ACT, all that good stuff. Hell. But there's not a lot of Division one high school kids signed. That's your from four or five school. I can go to uh, one AA or something like that, I can sign. And I can do I can kill it at that place and then go on to sign division one college. Just don't limit yourself, guys. Don't limit, never limit yourself as far as in the classroom, as far as, you know, uh, on the field. Don't put limits on yourself. But be realistic, too. Be realistic. You know, the classroom is what gets you out, gets you a job, makes, makes you successful. Okay? Like I said, not everybody's going, going to make it in, in, in the game football. Eventually, you got to hang up, hang up in the police. Every one of these coaches, I mean, Coach Hall played in the NFL. Eventually, he had to hang his cleats up. What did he fall back on? Now he's coaching because he went to school, got his degree, did what he was supposed to. And that goes for every single one. Eventually, you got to hang them up. Some, some got to do it a little faster than others. Be excited about what you've got in front of you. Be, be humble. Be appreciative. You need to thank, thank your parents every night you go home. Because every one of them has busted it, put you in this situation, put you in a place where you can't be. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Say this for our offensive staff, uh, parents, you're truly blessed to have these guys uh, coaching your kids. Um, so, quarterback coach, Coach Cheney. Three wide receivers coach, Coach Johnson, Coach Bagwell, and Coach Gore. I want to give Coach Bagwell a shout out. He calls the plays on our and uh, Coach Stanford and Coach Barnell do our offensive line. So he's got a lot of wins. All he does is win, right? <laughs> That's our uh, offensive coaching staff. <laughs> Coach Cruz, we're going to come up in here and do some our defense staff. I'm going to introduce our defense staff, and I'm going to echo what Wag said. Uh, we got a bunch of good coaches, a bunch of good guys. Uh, they're fun to work with. Uh, they're not guys that, you know, when we meet on Sundays, when we get done, nobody's like running out of the room, um, trying to get home. Uh, you know, we're there until we need to be there. And, and what I like about our guys, and really our whole staff, is we have fun while we're working. It's not, a, it's not trouble to come in there and, and, and work. We have a good time. And, you know, I think one Sunday we sat in there for probably an hour trying to convince Coach Bird that uh, Jordan is the go and not the wrong. You know, it was Sunday night we were all hanging out. Uh, I don't know if we ever convinced him, but we, we all know. But they're, they're good guys and they're fun to work with, and, and I'm, I'm glad to be I'm glad to be able to work with them. So uh, we'll start with our DB coaches. We'll start with Daniel Bird. He coaches DBs for us. I think we got a 
really be Friday night, which is sometimes it can be very difficult trying to get 11 people on the field when you're switching in and out. So I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about Towns. Um, I know he's not here, but he broke um, two records this year. I mean, he broke a state record. Um, he had the most 50 yard field goals that coach talked about, which is very hard to do. And like I said, he also he also broke our school record. He had 19 field goals, and he probably had the touchback record too, about 85 touchbacks, which is really good. And that really helps our defense to start off at the 20. So we was very fortunate to have him. We're gonna miss him, but it's good to be right down the road with them to see him on Saturday. So I'm very proud. Uh, so the first award we're gonna give out is the uh, most return yards. It's on Chmark as well. So come on, come on up. Sir. Marcus does everything. He's an athlete. Um, he plays on defense, plays on offense. Um, he came and faced a lot of adversity. He had to sit out with some injuries and stuff like that. But he ended up having uh, time to make tackles on kickoff. But we had um, Mr. DJ Winchell had the most tackles. So come on up, DJ. DJ had. And he calls like two fumbles um, on the punt team. But he did a really good job. One of the fastest guys in the state. He also run track for him, so very proud. And we'll do special. To, I would, I'll do the, all the captain awards at the end. Okay. Um, so we'll have special teams captains also. All right. I'm gonna turn it over to Coach uh, Wagon for the offense awards. All right, first thing, you know, when we sit down at the end of the year, we kind of go back and we, we look at kind of our accomplishments and, and things. And, and since we got here, we, we've set the standard really, really high, okay? So high that a lot of us, I know you, I know your parents were, were disappointed in the season, but if you, if you dig deeper and go back and look at, at the accomplishments we made, uh, there were still some great things that we did. I do want to give a shout out to Coach G um, and the whole defensive staff. So what happens at a school this size is most of the time you're going to break up into two teams. You have an offensive team and a defensive team. And one of the reasons we've been so successful is the ability to work together preparing these young men for what they're going to face in the game. And our defensive coaches, I've worked for staffs where it was it was a fight with our defense into the 7A state championship game. We're not going to face a better defense all year than what we do in practice. And I think that's a blessing. And that's, that's how hard they play, that's schematics, and that's fundamentals. And that's a great job. And, and thank you for working with me because I'm, I'm not the easiest person to work with a lot of times. Um, some of the accomplishments this year, we went 9-3, and three, made it to the uh, quarterfinals of the 7-8 playoffs. Uh, this summer, we were Auburn University 7-on-7 seven seven runner-up. Um, also this summer, we were Sanford University 7-on-7 seven, seven seven champions. Uh, that's our third year in a row to win that 7-on-7. Seven seven. We averaged 32.2 points a game. We averaged 350 total yards of offense per game. Passing stats, uh, we're 60% completion. We had 1,629 yards, 10 TDs to eight interceptions. We averaged 135 yards per game and averaged 6.6 .6 yards per pass. Uh, receiving, we had five players that had over at least 10 receptions, all right? Also, I want to give a shout out to this guy. All right? Ian Nation set the career reception record of 128 receptions and the career receiving record for 1,512 yards in his two years at Auburn High. So give him uh, set the single season reception record with 76 and this year he took the career record uh, for receptions and also took the uh, career receiving yards. That's a huge accomplishment. Um, rushing, we had 25, uh, 2,578 yards rushing. We averaged 5.7 yards per carry. We had five players that rushed for over 100 yards with 36 T TDs. We averaged 215 yards rushing per game. Uh, our leading rusher was Omar Mapson, who's a sophomore he had 1,210 yards rushing with 17 touchdowns, which was an exceptional year. And if you know, if you're paying attention to the season, we, you know, we had a lot of uh, 
a lot of circumstances that really made us have to dig deep as an offense and, and not as much figure out how to pile up the stats, but we had to really figure out uh, how to win, win games. And, and from the, the players to the coaches, uh, you know, I, I'll just say this. We, I've won more games. I've won state championships before. I've set records before. Uh, I think this was our best coaching job as an as offensive side. Sorry, and did you see I know it, it's disappointing because the standard we set, uh, and we didn't reach that. Uh, but but with the circumstances that, that were put in front of us, uh, I, I felt like I, I felt excited and know that, that we did a we did a heck of a job as a team. So the uh, offensive award. So each week. We do offensive awards, okay? And so the, the awards go basically by position, all right? And so at the end of the year, when we tally all these awards up, the one that had the most ends up being that yearly award winner. Okay, so our first award that Coach uh, Cheney will give it, it'll be our Gunslinger Award. All right, so uh, like Coach Wag said, I'm going to give him the Gunslinger Award tonight. Um, this award goes to the quarterback who threw for the most yards <clears throat> in the season. So this year's Gunslinger is Jackson Kilgore. So, uh, Jackson, Jackson threw for 822 yards and five touchdowns in only six games. Uh, his season was cut a little short because of an injury early on in the year, but uh, that's still pretty impressive for six games. So. Relates to uh, the running backs and in terms of we everybody refers to it as the running back room. Uh, we couldn't have had a, a more unselfish group of guys from, from the two that that mainly got most of the playing time all the way to uh, guys that were younger. So uh, I want to I give a big hat off to all of those young men for how hard they work to help each other get better. Um, we talk about the Racehorse Award. Well, luckily for us, we had a stable uh, of, of racehorses, and uh, we did a really good job. Um, Coach uh, E, in, in his years of coaching, uh, he has a couple of uh, standards in which a racehorse award is given, one being uh, a back who uh, rushes over uh, 1,000 yards, and then uh, if a back on the team that uh, rushes every uh, per carry six uh, yards per carry. So um, we are so fortunate to have had both of these young men uh, win the Racehorse Award uh, with Omar Mapson, uh, 1,210 yards, 17 touchdowns, um, and then Tyler Flake, 700 yards, 6.6 .6 yards a carry. So we knew coming into this year that we were going to really have to work and really, you know, extend how hard we, how much better we got. We came in on 7 a.m. workouts on Thursday mornings, and then when we got to spring, they were real adamant that every day after spring practice, we came in at 7 o'clock and watched film together. And so really all that work that, that came in, I think that improved, we improved all year long, and really by the end of the year, which was a really, really good group. So I can't say enough about that. We had three seniors. Um, Case Whaley, which really improved from his junior to senior year, didn't play his sophomore year and really enjoyed coaching him. Really great kid. Uh, Kate Neighbors was one of those kids, just a, a blue collar, hard nose, really good kid that stuck it out every day and gave everything he had to the program. And I look forward to seeing what he's successful in life. And then Jalen, that has been with me for three years, uh, really good job, two year starter, uh, played a good bit as a sophomore, had a great year, great senior year. And uh, so those three seniors really wanted to point those out. So our first award is our highest grade OL. He blocked 92%. And this kid works hard, does everything right every day. And I look forward to him being a leader next year. It's Clint Womack.
offensive line who has to stand up and be a fullback, who has to go out wide and be a receiver. So there's, we do so many, we have so many jobs as tight ends that it's it's hard for, for any one thing. So uh, I do want to recognize our two seniors, uh, Tyler McCann and Griffin McClain, stand up for So, Game Breaker, this, this year's a really big award to me. Um, so, you know, second ball game, we just got off beating Hoover. Uh, a quarterback breaks his collarbone, okay? And he played a quarter and a half with a broke collarbone. You could tell he was in pain, but he never complained. He never wanted to go out. And we weren't sure it was a broke collarbone. We would not have put you out there if we, if we knew that problem. We had a, we were coming up, we are going to have a senior quarterback, and he moved out, so that moved things up, where Jackson, we had to get Jackson, who was going to be, who was a sophomore, going to be a junior, well, what you got to understand at this level, a junior starting quarterback's not easy, and, and Jackson did great, okay, but a sophomore start, to start quarterback's really tough, okay, and so a lot of people say, like, we went out and recruited this baseball player, but that's, that was not the case, okay. Prior to this, this baseball player, who is an MLB draft prospect, who's an SEC, he's already signed with the SEC team, felt like he could help this program, okay? He felt like he could help this program. He never asked to be the quarterback. He didn't care. He just felt like he could unselfishly do something for you. And, uh, from what he did that year, just to just to come in there and with the greatest attitude of unselfishness to come in there and you were that you watched it, just guide us through some some really tough times. And again, never complained about anything. Took some big hits, made some big plays, threw some big touchdown passes, and uh, and did it with with really nothing to gain. Uh, he had nothing to gain, but the respect of what he gained from these coaches and these players, from his unselfishness, putting them uh, before himself. So, uh, just it's, it's something that we're losing in sports today. Is is unselfishness. It really all. It's all about me and what what can I do. And and this was a true. If there's ever been a true team experience of putting others before yourself. So with, he uh, passed for 594 yards and four TDs. He rushed for 380, uh, 380 yards and eight TDs. He had 974 total yards and 12 TDs. Uh, this year's game breaker goes to Henry Allen. said, Dad, what award are you getting? He said, I said, I can give him the receiver award. He said, tell Ian. I said, congratulations. But senior receivers, thank y'all so much. Y'all made it a joy every single day to go to practice. It's blessed to have you guys. I love y'all. Just thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. All right. So, Ian Nation, you're the winner. Congratulations. selfishness from so many guys on this offensive team 
that I that I watched. You know, we had four, we had five, six really good receivers, really good receivers, and we we kind of had to go to a, a, a running, grinding it out style, and they shared time, and they were so unselfish, and that's what made us successful. This year. You know, they did a phenomenal job, and you know, I'm I'm just gonna say that because. People like Coach says that that's being awesome, man. The unselfishness, the the uh, playing for your brothers, doing everything it takes to win. We've got guys out here, you know. We've got guys moving from offense. I mean, I'll say Andrew Hahn could have been a, a great running back, and he moved over to the defensive side to help us be better on defense. So, a lot of unselfish guys on this team. A lot of unselfish guys on this team. Um, uh, real quick, I'm gonna bring uh, Coach Goosby up and let him give the defensive awards. And if you notice, all these awards right here, that offense, defense, special teams, all these are based on what they do on Friday night. We're, when we get to the captain awards, we'll talk about the off the field stuff and things like that. Truly, a football family, they, they make it uh, really easy. To, to be a coach, so thank you guys. And then, Wag, I'm gonna echo what you said too. The biggest thing I can say, just piggybacking off what Wag said about offensive and defensive staffs working well together, is we have fun. And the day that football becomes unfun and coaching it for me is the day I retire and go to the beach. And so hopefully that's not, <coughs> that's not anytime soon. But this is the best staff I've ever worked on. Uh, it's just as far as, as the people and the quality of coaching that all the kids get, it's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, the way we work together is, is really cool. And so thank you guys for that too. And so now to the defense, I've got some stats that I'm gonna read you guys before we get into these awards. But, you know, I was thinking about it today. The stats don't really tell the story, I don't think, of this group. I, I think, I wrote down some thoughts about them. Uh, the, the biggest thing that comes to mind when I think about them is we try to get you guys, we try to get them to play as hard as they can absolutely play every time we take the field. I don't ever want to leave a football game and think that the opponent played harder than us. That's embarrassing. And so we try to put that in their brain all the time. We talk about being an underdog and having that underdog mentality where you're always working and you're always climbing and you always, you know, are just trying to, you know, grind. You're just always thinking that there's something better that I can do. And I think that one of the biggest things I can say about y'all is looking back at the season is that you did that every time we played. Uh, I don't think there was a game that we played that I walked off the field and thought we just did not play hard. And that was in practice too. You know, we, we get after each other in practice, offense and defense. I mean, it gets intense out there and the kids, you know, they want to win third down and they want to win inside and all this. And, you know, when I think about this group, this defensive group, that's that's what just comes into my mind. So we talk about it every Sunday, guys, did we not? We sat in that meeting room and we always said, man, y'all just play your absolute tell. They just play their tell off. And I love coaching guys like that, that you may not always be the biggest, strongest, fastest person in the room, but you can go work hard. And you can go try to play harder than the other person. And that's something too, I think, that you can take, you know, in life with you, wherever you go, whatever it is that you guys decide to do when you grow up and get old like us, you can be the hardest worker. And that's 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 the biggest thing that I think about. A um, couple other things I wrote down before we get into these stats is you guys were very, very coachable. And we told y'all that often throughout the year. But as a coach, and these other guys said it, I can't tell you how awesome it is to have a bunch of dudes that when you go in there and if you're getting a positive message or a negative message, whatever the message is, you sit there and take it. And you're not looking around the room and you're not smacking your lips and you're not doing some of that kind of stuff. You just absolutely take the coach. That makes it easy on us. Um, and it's not like that at every place. But these guys that we get here and this crew, I think this crew especially, I don't know if y'all all agree with me, they, they were, I think, extra coaching. They just, for some reason, just just took it every week. And I, I really, really appreciate that. I thought they played with a team first mentality. And I thought they maximized, absolutely maximized their potential in the season. Um, so I, I appreciate what you guys do for us, you seniors. I appreciate what y'all did for us all season long, taking the coaching uh, that you did and, and laying your bodies on the line for us and uh, you know, giving us your best effort every time you took the field. Um, and I'm really, really excited about the guys we got coming back. I think we got a group coming back that's going to be dang good. And uh, I'm really, really excited to 
just keep working and get you know looking forward to the next season. But with that being said, I, I do have a couple of statistics. We gave up 18.1 points per game, and in my mind, we don't ever sit down as a staff and talk about we want to keep it at this level. Um, in my mind, I always think if we can keep it around 17 points a game over the course of the season, we're probably going to be pretty good on defense, and we were, we were 18 point 18 points per game. Um, we held every opponent except two to 17 points or less in regulation. Um, and we do talk about points giving up a lot because that is our job is to not let another team score, get the ball back to the offense and let them score. Um, we, we talk all the time with our guys about a habit grade. So a habit play for us is a tackle for loss, a sack, a turnover, a cost fumble, a PBU, an interception, quarterback hurry. I think, that, I think that's all. But we chart those plays in every game we play. And at the end of the game, we want to have a 30% habit rate, meaning that 30% of the game were some of those kind of plays. And uh, so throughout the season, we ended up with a 31% habit rate. We had 24 total sacks, 65 tackles for loss, 91 quarterback hurries. Uh, we had eight interceptions over the year. And we had 10 cost fumbles or fumble recoveries. So uh, it's kind of like Wag said. Uh, we wanted to get back to the state championship game, and uh, we did not do that. But I do feel like we absolutely, you guys absolutely maximize your potential on the season. So with all that being said, thank you guys. We're going to get into some of the awards. I'm going to give out, and Coach Smith's going to help me give out the tackle awards. Um, so we got two guys. So every week on Sunday when the kids come in, we give out certain awards um, based off the previous week's game. Our second guy is David Smith. Davis, if you want to come on up. So Davis finished the season with 90 total tackles for us. The biggest thing I can say about Davis, and I, I'm not going to say a lot. I, I can talk a lot about Davis. He's been around us for a long time. I can remember uh, having him as a, I guess, a junior high kid up there on the field at the, at the junior high now, uh, tackling donuts when he was in probably the sixth or seventh grade. So he's been around us a long time. He's probably the most consistent player we had on defense this year. He was a communicator. He was a leader. Um, he was just extremely um, consistent in what he did. Davis is a great kid. He's a high academic kid. He's an Auburn High ambassador. He's Reggie's son. Uh, so he's got he's got a good got good genes. Best male athlete in the family. All right. So there's a lot of things we can say about him. But Davis, you've been around us all time. Thank you for everything you did for us, man. You're new. You're an absolute leader. You're what we try to, you know. An Auburn High defense player, you're what we want, a guy that goes out there and gives us his absolute best every time he takes the field. He does it with the right attitude. He does it with the right, with the right way. So Davis did that. So those two guys were our um, our tackle leaders for the season. Um, we had another guy that was right up there with him. He's going to get another award that I'll, that I'll give out at the end. But um, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pass it to Coach Hall and Coach Harris, and they're going to come up and give up the highest graded defensive line award. Saturday after they play on Friday nights, we go in and we, we grade the film. Uh, we give them grades on effort, uh, technique, assignment, you know, alignment. And we go in there and we just dissect the film and, and give them a grade every week. Uh, one thing about this group, like Coach G was saying, they do a great job of, of, of being coachable. Because sometimes it don't go as well as planned, you know. And we get up on the tenth during the game and they just look at you and they take it, and yes sir. And they go out there and they try to respond the right way, the correct way. So I commend them for that. Um, but this award I'm about to give out goes to a guy who's, who graded out consistently in the, in the 80s, low 90s, uh, played hard for us. He was all around the field at all times. Um, I had to kick him in the, in the butt sometimes at practice because the shoe's not tied. Or, or maybe his, his wrists were not taken up correctly. But uh, he plays hard, man. He gives, he gives us everything he has, man. I'm proud of him. He's developed into a good human being. He's a great guy, a great football player, great athlete. He goes to a game of pitch. Jason Halverson.
and I've got the, I handle the interior defense a lot. And, uh, you know, to, to, to kind of give you some insight as to, you know, what we talk about as, a, as interior guys is before the ball is snapped every play, uh, an interior defensive lineman knows four things. Number one, when the ball snapped, you're going to get punched in the chest. Number two, you're probably going to get hit, buddy. Three, you're going to get healed. And four, whoever they give the ball to is going to be a lot faster than we are. Uh, and so, you know, so sometimes we, uh, we wonder why anybody wants to be good at this, why anybody wants to do this. Uh, but fortunately, you know, we've kind of, you know, Coach uh, E and Coach G and, and uh, everybody else involved has kind of, you know, fostered a culture of, uh, of just, you know, doing your job. What can I do to help? You know, we all can't catch footballs or, or throw footballs or do stuff like that. But we can all, you know, give effort and put our hand in the dirt, you know, get the most out of what we've got. The, uh, the guy that I've got that, uh, that, you know, wins this award is, uh, you know, he's outstanding uh, on the field. He's outstanding in practice. He's outstanding in the classroom. He's got a, a GPA over 3.5. You know, one of the things I think I miss most about him uh, is, uh, you know, during uh, during those tough days of practice, whether it's inside drill or, you know, OLDL stuff, yeah, every now and then there's, you know, people get a little heated, and, you know, there's some pushing and some shoving and some, a lot of things going on, but as coaches, you, you know, you like a little bit of that. You'd rather have to calm the kids down and kind of pump them up, and we don't have that problem. But every now and again, when, when it just got to that edge where we needed to, to calm it down before any coach could say anything, uh, this uh, this gentleman would say, y'all chill out. And, and it was always over. <laughs> as coaches, we didn't have to do anything after we heard the y'all chill out, because that, that was like the bell. stuff him up in the hole, our ball would win. All right, and then I think another thing that's probably even more impressive to me is against Hoover this year, if you saw a 290-pound kid get up off the ground the way he did, uh, you're never going to forget that. You know, normally uh, one day in the summer when we, we measure the, the vertical jumps of all the defensive linemen, normally I just bring an envelope to the practice field and say, jump as high as you can. And if I can get that envelope up under your feet at the top of your jump, you pass and then we go eat. But if you saw, uh, can y'all hear me from where you are? Because it, I thought that was really good. I really did. Okay. All right, thank you. No, uh, anyway, if, if there's a, uh, if this is a secret to anybody that's ever met this kid, then uh, you didn't look very closely because one of the most outstanding big linemen I've ever coached and one of the most outstanding young men I've ever coached is a team deuce white. Just in the blink of an eye. Coach, he tells y'all that all the time. It can happen at any moment. 
And it just hit me right there. We're in the heat of a ball game. We're trying to win a big ball game. And we're under the tent fixing stuff. And I'm like, all I could think about was that kid's career was, was over. It was done. Um, and so, but, but he continued to come and it was at practice. And he was in 7 o'clock meetings in the morning and all that kind of stuff. He's a great kid. He's got a bright future. So I thank you for everything that you that you did for us. I'm going to let um, Coach Kitch give out this. Before it goes to another young man, uh, from the jump, all right, everybody, uh, I don't want to just be 100. People came in, they were like, this kid's too small, he's too slow, he's not physical enough, but when we put him back there, safety, he just balled out. It was just him in the game, and he's a great young man. I watched him play ever since he was in eighth grade. Kid balled out, um, finished the season with 46 tackles and an interception, and three, I, I got him out for three, it was probably more people use, uh, Jackson Mills. I think it was just two, JD and Ted. Uh, those are two guys that came up and dressed with us as freshmen. Uh, when we got to the playoffs, we looked for big things out of them for the next three years, and uh, it's, it, which is hard to do here. You know, it's hard to come and compete as a freshman. And they did a heck of a job. So, uh, but I'm, I'm not really big on giving sophomore awards simply because, you know, I wanted to spend a little time and earn it. But, you know, we, I decided to do it this year because we've got such a really good sophomore class. And the, some, some of these guys, you know, went really, really hard this year. Um, we've got great sophomores. And the reason I don't like to give sophomore awards is because, you know, you never know what these guys are going to turn into in the next two years. You know, I want them to see the older guys get the awards. But I'm going to give these four because we watched these guys make huge strides this year and get better and better. The first one goes to Isaac Benson. Thank you. 
Sí, from his junior year to his senior year, and it all had, had to do with his work ethic. He came in and worked hard and got after it. Uh, last but not least, the guy that comes off the edge, and the uh, guy that's a man of very few words, Ashton White.
Uh, these other two are, are two of them that came in with me. Um, did London make it? Is he here?
This is one of my favorite awards. This is character captain awards. It basically is our, our captains that are our captains on and off the field. The guys that come in, you don't hear nothing, nothing, no complaints, no, they just get in there and they do their work and they're leaders. You know. First one, Henry Allen. Demir The next one, 
I told him he'd have any girl he wanted to as long as he just talked to him on the phone with that deep voice. Deuce. Wow. successes 
that you have brought to dear old Albert High School. We look forward to seeing what you do in the future. I will now turn the podium over to our girls cross country coach. Okay, we'll have four or five guys signing in two weeks. So good group of guys, great group of guys. Um, the first guy I'm going to talk about a little bit, um, probably one of the best athletes in the state. Uh, I think led the state in return yards, unbelievable athlete, great young man. You know, does, uh, I, I think that uh, he had an injury earlier in the year. So, you know, I think, but I think he would have probably led the state in another couple categories had, had he had a full year to play. Uh, I'm going to call him up right now, Trey Marcus Webb. Mark's going to be uh, deciding between, I think, three or four schools. So, we'll let him get up there and get a pretty picture. Coaches are out looking for other college guys and sort of 
you know, looking over some of the high school kids in every sport. So if you're signing a college scholarship, that means you're, you're doing everything the right way. Um, we're going to bring up Griffin McLean. When I sip they tea And if you come all parching in I'll hug you like a brown fur cardigan We can see the monologue and arguing I'm like Who in here trying to start a fight? We ain't asking nobody to blow us up. We're gonna go take 